Right. Now, um, people in Pakistan um, are begging. They actually don't even know who America is or what America is. And these drones come in and they'll shoot up, kill children, and uh, do all sorts of dreadful things. And uh, marketplaces, um, I think the count was 178 children the other day. A total of almost 3,500 people. 3,500 people 176 killed. 176 of them children. Now, I just opened up several different uh, YouTubes here. Let's see if I can get okay, there's, a, there's a clock. On the other side, Back a bit. Move the screen to the side, back. The camera screen. There you go. There's a drone. Below it is a beast of some sort, a skeleton ghost demon. And then there's two at the bottom. Um, This is in the caption. The word is kill. Is that one? Now what I did, I got a um, an insight into was very, very odd behaviour with uh, my son-in-law. When... Uh, there you go. That's backwards, right? So you can see the demon figures behind it. Now, you go on YouTube, anywhere at all, this is what I did. And then, and there it is live. And we've got the, uh, the demons with the little... Right, let's get to the point. No matter where you go, this thing's coming up all the time. Uh, yeah, and they look like zombies. They're zombies. Yeah. Now, um, how would you get soldiers in America to operate a uh, computer screen where they're controlling these drones to go into Pakistan and kill people and target little children in particular? You couldn't get soldiers to do that. So what you do is you make a game out of it and you get your kiddies to do it. So they go online and they've been running around their tanks and all sorts of stuff. And I saw a game, and these are adults. This is uh, my son-in-law and his mate, and two others getting stoned. And they had this game on where you score points as you're screaming through the city and running over kids and running over old little old ladies. And then you get out with your iron bar and you bash the old lady to death and you get points like that. And uh, all this kind of games I've done all day long. I couldn't believe my eyes. So the best thing Rhiannon could have done is fucked him off, which he did. Because they would have been influenced by what he does. So, on the right of the screen, shoot three. Now in uh, Iraq, soldiers are trained to regard the civilian population there as being less than animals. This is Talmudic teaching. See, America is do totally dominated by the, the Jews, and it's all Talmud. It's by Freemasonry, and uh, they said in the, in the uh, Protocol of Zion that they would use Freemasonry, which they've done. And uh, William Cooper brought out... Uh, a very, very brilliant documentary 
on Cornwallis, the British Admiral General, and his speech to um, George Washington after he had won the battle. And he said what was going to happen. And one of the uh, men in the uh, American army um, wrote a book about what he heard. And it's called The Regions of Saturn. So what it basically said by uh, Wallace, Con Wallace, is that America will be preaching independence and freedom and democracy and teaching in all the churches the uh, Zionist Bible. All the churches will be Zionist. So with uh, time running down to today, um, the information's out there that all of the, we've showed you the Freemason churches are all reading the uh, same Bible as the Freemason legend. So the great whore is the queen. She's dead already. Um, Philip, he's dead. So start looking around to see if any of these personalities are around. So what they are doing at the bequest of the queen to sign death warrants typically for all the people in her who get capital punishment and all of the nations that she ruled over the great whore sits on seven continents. We're not talking about a religion like, like Rome, that's nothing. Um, it is all to do with the Queen and she is supposed to hand over the throne of David to Christ when he shows up. Of course we've already served and I've been to court several times. There's no chance of winning it that way of course. But what it does, it sets a track record. So now, it comes down to this. It is very unlikely that a lot of the world leaders are still alive. As we speak, they are all underground. So if you're a politician and you're not underground, well, you must be one of the good guys. They ain't coming back. So what they have done is taken this uh, thing from Pac-Man onwards into doing more and more disastrous things and killing people. And I've watched the games uh, evolve to this point where now uh, you are flying as sophisticated weapons and you think you're scoring a thousand points by killing a child. But this is all pinpointed by the super radars they've got out in the space. And they feed that back into an animation and those people become animated and you would think that you're playing a game. That's what they're doing to you, kid. Now, forgive them, Father, for they know not what to do. Well, I've got to do that. I'm not happy about it. But some idiot said it, and I've got to live up to it. That no idiot was me. Because you don't know what you're doing. You are all insane. I mean, you've been poisoned. You can't blame each other. You can't blame your religions. What you can do is blame the Jews, because they don't. So all Jews are finished. Well, ran them all up. A bit disappointed with Hitler, because he didn't send him to bloody Madagascar where he could have in the early days of the war. They are the animals. Put them on the zoo. When they die out, that's it, they're not coming back. Now, as far as Ash is concerned, she's just killing them now. Oh. <laughs> is that still going? I'm compelled at this point in time because we're running up to the actual crossing over date at 11.11 11 London time and that's only about two hours away now. Less than? Less than two hours away. Mm, and a half. So your answer? Yeah. Well, the angels know who the evil ones are. They yeah, they do. Sacrifice your children and turn them into hamburger and sell them to McDonald's. In the, for the, in the name of justice. Now, I said about 
all businesses now are now taken over by the employees that are like the likes of Kmart or all that. Your, your employees now own it. And I'll show you a new economic way that you can pay very high wages to people uh, living all around the world who uh, send you goods. I can show you how you can cut the prices dramatically and give those little children who are working in slave shops jobs no more because their parent can go to work, one parent can go to work and earn enough money making a shirt. You should take his wages or her wages and you put it at the end of the sale, at the till, it goes on as a, a uh, labour tax. So if you paid them $20 an hour, they made 30 shares. So give them all the dollar each on top of the shirt price. You do that for everything. Um, currency is uh, what you determine it to be and it's an, on the value of labour. If you build a bridge you know, over a river into a town, you've increased the value of the town. So therefore, the wages that you pay on it and all that kind of thing, you print the money and that's what you do with it. What is it? So, um, that's a sad thing that they're doing with your children at the moment. Now, all mothers, woe well, unto mothers to give suck. Well, that's all right. You're all forgiven. And uh, your children that's been poisoned with these uh, vaccinations, well, we're going to fix that. Everything can be solved. Right? We're now passing through a photon belt. We'll be uh, at that point in time. You can actually judge the thickness of it that we've entered into it by the <coughs> acceleration of what appears to be time speeding up. Well, this speeding up. <laughs> Hang by your thumbs, it slows down. <laughs> Hang on across, it's even slower. Mm. For 2,000 bloody years, this is all. Mm. Now, is there anything else we'll add to the... <coughs> we had a list here. Let's look at our list. Well, I didn't write the list. I just wrote out the oh. how the, how they would have structured these games for kids to go online. Well, yeah, that and that was evident with the uh, invasion of Georgia, which again were US. Yeah, that's right. It was a, a and game. And it, it was a game from 2000, and yet the war was being fought in 2008. So yeah. everything's been <sighs> programmed. So, what do you think of the memory right there? Well, that's what we have to resort to, isn't it, when technology doesn't Jordan. work around us? <laughs> yeah. So everybody... You have a lot of fun with this, Mary. Everybody's forgiven, except the Jews. They're the only ones who know exactly what they've been doing. Isn't that right? Right. So when you were on the cross, even then, you knew that they knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. So it was not forgiveness. Making a big mistake. Mm. Mm. So Norm Pickelstein would be a good man to run his run. Yep. Yes. And what does it what does it mean to rule with the rod of iron? Okay. Well, I say gas. Nothing gets past him. <laughs> no argument. No arguments. If I say do it, you do it. That's it. Yep. Now, uh, bring all your troops home from all around the world for Christmas. Mm. Bring them all. Bring them home. Make sure that aircraft carrier, the Enterprise, is way out of the area so they won't sink it. Or quite it. They can't sink it. But they will try. Pollute the Mediterranean. Plutonium. Jam packed with gunnels with weapons with plutonium all over. Yeah, so bring it out, bring it out, and then uh, watch the fireworks above. That's going to be entertaining. Mm -hmm. Designed to frighten the shit out of you. And I'm good at that. I'm better. Huh? <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> <laughs>
Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> That's right. That was Colonel Ginger Rogers. <laughs> Anyway, it's been in ten. Oh, Barbara Hutton. Oh, Barbara Hutton. That's cute. Yeah. So, what, what did the staff say a little while ago? Oh, musical instrument. That's on playing away on yeah. a musical instrument, which affords us an entire orchestra. <laughs> That's all good, guys. It's all good. Yeah, so everyone gets in, we'll kick it off that way, and uh, your homosexuals a bit of start uh, getting your act together. Mm -hmm. For sure. Not any bad behaviour. We'll do it the Jesus way. <laughs> Jesus way or the highway? <laughs> That's what we've been saying. Yahweh or the highway. That's right. And remember, it's the new name. Brian, let it go lightly, Marshall. Now, as I said uh, in another video, I'll say it again because it might not get up. And that is, uh, all you people that's got uh, farms where the fracking gas is coming up, you can harvest that gas, hang a sign on the on your front gate, uh, uh, Kingdom of God, and my name under it. And uh, all corporations are now out of business. And uh, you can then take that gas by putting in gravel, uh, digging trenches if you have to, get down to where the gas is the most prolific, fill it with gravel and capture the gas with, with uh, plastic on top, put the soil on top of that or gravel on top of that again, and then uh, take the gas and start generating electricity and pump it into the grid. And uh, if all America, over the million square miles of fracking has been done, do that, you'll ease the fracking pressure problem. You'll be feeding the grid, you'll be putting the uh, nuclear reactors out of business, and uh, you'll be uh, creating clean atmosphere because you can uh, actually use that technology to uh, clean the air as the gas is being pumped. So, uh, creating electricity is very, very easy. And then you'll own the grid. Well, you're on it now. Do it. It's a white burn. So I just start doing it. Well, no. I intended to blow you up with that. I got they got a million square miles in Australia. Like one's enough for Australia. They got thousands and thousands and thousands. Of them. So you do the same thing. I have to have people bring people in from uh, Arabia, set up industries in Australia, make it the the uh, breadbasket of the earth, you've got the Nile and the Amazon flow rate flows out of the rivers of northern Queensland and it's been directed out to sea. And uh, Australia is very flat. It's uh, quite easily you could uh, put rivers in into the inland and use that water to irrigate the centre of Australia. Well, lowlands. You got is uh, is rock area going over towards South Australia. There's a depression there, so 56 or so feet below the sea level. So you just pour the water into there, for example, even directly from the sea. And all these things you can do to create uh, inland seas where you can have huge fish farms and uh, irrigation. There's <coughs> 600,000 square miles of uh, subterranean water under Australia and um, you don't have to pump it. So once you pierce through the weight of the, of the uh, land settles down a few millimetres and that pressurises the whole thing and it pushes this hot water to the surface and that you can irrigate with. Oh, power. If you drill down to the level where it's hot enough to turn water to steam, you get an automatic unmanned drilling machine to do that. You keep it flush, keep it cool, go down seven or eight miles, whatever it is, till it's so bloody hot. And then you let the water, the subterranean water, 
drain into it and it will create steam continuously forever. Easy. If you want fresh water in desert areas, if you need to see, you only have to go in several hundred uh, feet or meters and then drill down to sea level and you'll find the water that's coming up is fresh water. Two reasons. The water that soaks through from the rain to that level and also the salt water that replaces any that you take out is being leached free of salt by the, the pumice or the volcanic rock that it's got to seep through. So you have an unlimited supply of fresh water anywhere in the world. Well, oh. <coughs> you've got little magnetic motors. What you can do there is uh, use the uh, electricity of generate off these little magnetic motors in your car to uh, crack hydrogen and oxygen uh, through electrolysis to feed your car to run on water. I couldn't do that, you might be able to sell the gas. Oh, right. <laughs>